Before I had Phoebe, I had to be with someone who knew me and knew my condition 24 seven. She has given me my life back. I wouldn't be able to live as a normal 25 year old if I didn't have Phoebe. There you go, hold, wait. I have a condition called hypermobile ehlers downlos Syndrome. Now for normal people, <laughs> that means basically my body doesn't produce any collagen and any collagen that is produced is destroyed by my body. But the kicker with um, EDS is that it affects every part of your body. So for me, it affects all my internal organs and it does mean I'm life limited. Um, so I'm living on a shorter timeline than most. Phoebe's main role is as my medical alert dog. So the main thing she does for me is detect when I'm gonna play. Okay. I know. She's just done a heart alert, so my heart rate's just shot up from 80 to 120. It's only her first alert, so it's not a dangerous alert. It's just her first reminder for me to stop. She also alerts to my seizures. She'll lie on top of me to keep my body temperature. Um, if I have a seizure, she'll put herself between my head and the floor um, so that I can't bang my head. I'm a full-time wheelchair user and with my condition, um, bending down is really difficult because it often triggers um, a fainting episode. So she helps pick things up, she helps me get dressed and undressed, she opens and closes doors. She just generally is both a medical alert and a mobility assistance dog. I'm a sailor. I have been competing since I was about 15 for Team GB. Um, and I now compete as a para-athlete. Before having Phoebe, before her medical alert, I couldn't sail on my own. She normally looks like she's asleep um, or watching the birds, but basically she keeps track of my scent so that I know if I'm gonna faint. Um, that means I have the time to safely get back to shore. For the past two and a half years, I have been able to race and train and sail independently. And I'm sure that sounds like a really small thing, but to me it was massive. Phoebe is not just my assistance dog, she's also a therapy dog and she brings joy and happiness to hundreds of people every week. Come on then, go say hello to everybody. We've done care homes, we've done universities, uh, we've done working with children with learning disabilities. She's not just my lifeline, she's given so many other people hope and joy. She not only gave me back my life, you know, in the house, she gave me my life back on the water. She gave me my sport back, the thing that I never thought I'd get back to competing. What she gives me, I can never thank her for. She's my hero, but she's a hero to everybody else as well.